Among patients with atrial fibrillation, direct acting oral anticoagulants lower the risk of stroke, but they increase the risk of bleeding, limiting their use. A new study compared the efficacy and safety of oral asyndexian, an activated factor 11 inhibitor, with those of apixaban, a factor 10A inhibitor. In this phase 3 international randomized double blind double dummy trial, 14,810 high risk patients with atrial fibrillation were randomly assigned to receive either asyndexian at a dose of 50 mg once daily or standard dose apixaban. The trial was stopped early at the recommendation of an independent data monitoring committee. The primary efficacy endpoint was a composite of stroke or systemic embolism which occurred more often in the asyndexian group, with 1.3% of patients, as compared with 0.4% of patients in the apixaban group. The primary safety endpoint of major bleeding events occurred less often among patients who received asyndexian than among those who received apixaban. About a third of patients in each group reported any adverse event. The authors conclude that among patients with atrial fibrillation who are at risk for stroke, asyndexian led to a higher risk of stroke or systemic embolism than apixaban, but was associated with fewer major bleeding events. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.